Buenos dias. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Buenos dias means good morning in Spanish. I learned that when I lived in Mexico for two years. And even when I worked as a blacksmith for a week just to come back and start my life over, you know. I had a lot of rock bottoms, guys. And I love to talk about my failures because my failures made me who I am. And I, wanna, I don't have a lot of time, guys. I don't make these videos anymore. And I wasn't really planning to make this video but I'm going to make it because, like I said, this is something I've really been seeing a lot, a very popular trend. And it's not something that the, when I started my self-help studies, right, before I dropped out of college because I was, you know, more successful than someone that had an eight-year degree, and that was a very long time ago. And I, I, I didn't, I, there was only four mentors, four online mentors at the time when I started a self-help study. Can you believe that? And even now, I'm the one that could easily be teaching them, or now I'm the one teaching, you know, all my in-person mentors from the 30 jobs, 30 jobs that I self-improved through to become the international nonprofit owner, international nonprofit owner that I am now, where people are, you know, offering a set of interviews with governors in Mexico and, you know, counselor, counselors uh, in the Philippines, and we work with nonprofits all around South America and the world. And this is by far my most proud accomplishment I'm proud of. And we got the YouTube channel going on. I'm going to be working on that today after I go finish my three-hour workout, you know. I've been working out three hours a day, guys. And no, I'm not going to show you my V-lines or my private parts. But I wanted to show you, you know, the proof or the evidence, you know. I don't... Guys, I'm not bragging. And I'm going to move on now before I, you know, put you guys to sleep. I'm building some credibility for, you know, I'm not some... You know, kid living in his mom's basement, you know, munching off of them on potato chips playing League of Legends all day. Not saying, you know, anything against people that like League of Legends, but you got my point. Now, this by far is the most important message that I wish pe other people had told me. But the issue is we have so many insecure 60 to 70 year old men going around nowadays who don't even know any better themselves. And... Anyways, guys, there's, how do you increase your value as an adult? And this is going to be brutally honest, and it's going to hurt a lot of people's feelings. And when you speak the truth, a lot of people are going to get offended. And it's because so many people go around walking around with these egos, right? These big egos. And an ego really is a hyper insecurity, right? I talk about it in the book of life I wrote, and I'm, the book of life is not the the nonfiction book or the fantasy book that I'm writing right now. Excuse me, just hit 197,000 words last night. Going to start the second draft here, and you know, an ego really is a hyper insecurity or a dogma mask, right? You're trying to be somebody you're not, right? You have a dogma mask on. And society that I just touched on that's owned by this one criminal family, right? They love to, you know, sell you these dogma masks or the religions that they work alongside publicly, right? And they're, you know, bought off politicians that work alongside the religions, you know. they Religion sells you these dogma masks. And it's this is where most people have issues with gaining actual value. And they don't ever gain any actual value in their entire lifetime. It's really sad because of their ego. And I talk about it all the time, guys, in my videos. You have got to truly understand and love yourself from within, right? And what does this have to do with value? Well, you have to understand. I want you guys to understand this. I don't want you guys just to know this, or I don't want to just go on some random rant for, you know, five minutes and be or a one-minute Instagram video and expect it to actually change your lives. I'm going to offer you guys value. And like I said, I don't have a lot of time, but I'm going to do this. And... When you truly understand and love yourself from within, then you're able to give. You're able to give selflessly. When you are insecure, you don't truly understand and love yourself from within, right? You have true value, which I'm about to touch on, then you're empty, right? And you want to feel selfish. You're selfish and you want to feel your insecurity, right? But when you truly understand and love yourself, you're secure, and you give. And when you give to life, and when I say life, I mean the trees, the plants, the galaxy and the stars that vibrate on 528 hertz that radiates through even the rainbows and 
the miracle frequency that's curing diseases almost a billion lives in just four years. Of course, you don't hear that on the propagated media owned by a criminal family. A billion lives, diseases cured. They put 528 hertz through an instrument and the molecular vibration and an oil spilled ocean water was cured in one, de one day and the next day sea life was already returned. And when the skeptics showed up, they tested the parts for a million, and they were just like, oh my god, what the hell is this miracle frequency, and where has it been? Where has it been? It's been hidden! And used by a few. This is the frequency that billionaires meditate to, because when you connect to the vibration of love that flows through all of life, your divinity as a 400 trillion to one miracle, there is nothing you cannot accomplish, and you can manifest like that. And when you love and truly understand yourself from within, because everything starts with you first. We've all heard the self-help gurus say it, but they've never gotten this deep because they don't understand. Sorry to say it. But when you truly understand and love yourself first, since everything starts with yourself, you're able then to keep and maintain this high vibration of love and miracles and methods like that. But, and when you truly under, okay, and when you truly understand and love yourself, guys, you're able to, you want to improve, you want to fail. I talk about it in my, my video on failure and in the book of life on failure. You want to fail. When you, when you love yourself from within, you want to fail. And why? Because it allows you to improve and grow and evolve. That's why we're alive. That's why we're alive, to keep growing, to keep failing, to keep learning. When you look at a tree, it starts off as a seed, an acorn seed. Aristotle talks about this. And when Aristotle held up the acorn seed to his class, he, he, he said, what do I have here? And he didn't want them to say an acorn seed. He wanted them to say an acorn tree, not a seed. And this is the beautiful science of life. Science of life that I've studied my entire life and why I could just blow reincarnation, religious propaganda out of the water, which is a whole other 30 minute video, but the science of life, guys, a tree grows and evolves through vibration, the vibrational patterns and the shifts of those frequencies and vibrations is what turns an acorn seed into a tree, and you come into this world, right, you come into this world, and the brain, how should I, your thoughts, Right, create the neural pathways in our brain, and you come into this world through a vibration and a frequency. You come through this world through thought, and your thoughts are what build you. And when you're a kid, your subconscious mind is filled with paradigms and algorithms that dictate your life until you take back your conscious thinking away from this one family. And this is how you improve your value, guys, is through consciously awakening and understanding who you truly are on the inside. Not a dogma mask. And when you do this, like I said, guys, you can connect to this vibration of love and do anything. And not only anything, you start thinking on a universal level. You start, I start making my businesses on an international level. I start thinking international because we all are life and love. And I wish my mentors had taught me. There's two ways to truly improve your value. Not faking it, not pretending like all of these prima donnas on Instagram going around with a pound of makeup, their dogma masks, right, that has suckled their sugar daddy who's, you know, selling drugs and cheating himself. No, 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 I'm talking about true value. I'm not talking about Kim Kardashian, who's more fake than a $3 bill. I'm not talking about her husband that had a file for bankruptcy. I'm not talking about Dan Bazillion that has to sell drug rifles to the cartels. No, 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 I'm talking about true value. How the big fish do it. You know, I've had the privilege to work with million dollar, multi-million dollar clients up in the hills in Scottsdale. You know, I have the privilege to work with some of the top freelancers in the world. When I work on my applications and I work on my, you know, like I said, the international nonprofit. You know, we work with big fish. I'm talking big fish that got there legitimately. And when you do it legitimately... It lasts forever. It does not does it just last forever when you do things the right way 
and you gain true value, not a fake Gucci purse, then it lasts forever, but it does not just last. Just like all of life, it keeps building and growing, and you keep just prospering in abundance for eternity. And I wish, I wish Bob Proctor had told me this instead of standing up on that stage and saying, act and pretend like the person, you know, somebody else that you want to be. Because I did that. I acted and I pretended just like Bob Proctor told me. And I was never myself. I never got to love myself for so much of my life. And I'm not going to go into all the other sleazy, you know, Ty Lopez's out there. But anyways, guys, true value. This is how you gain true value. This is how you build fulfillment. This is why those names, some of those names and many more, especially nowadays in the thousands, are so empty and they neglect their families while they work themselves to death. It's because they don't truly understand and love themselves and value themselves from within. And like I said, guys, I got I got to get going here, so let's get this show on the road. You know, a lot of people, like I said, my coworkers don't have even time to do this. But I started from the bottom. I started scrubbing shit off toilets every day and pushing in 10, 15 carts in 115 degree weather in Arizona. To get to where I'm at now, a lot of people are like, what the fuck? How is that even possible? And I did it in seven years. And I raised four children along the way and traveled the world. Anyways, guys, so this is how you truly increase your value. One, you study factual and truthful information. And when I, what a lot of people say, what is truthful information? And this is working in the corporate sector and inter international enterprises and online advertising and marketing on an international level. I'm about to tell you what truthful information is. The supplement companies... What do you think the supplement companies are going to pay a scientific laboratory or their laboratories that they own themselves? What kind of information do you think they're going to tell you? Of course the supplement companies want you to consume as much protein as possible. That's not truthful information. That's biased information. That's not truthful. And so many of these colleges owned by these corporations or that work alongside these corporations... Their studies are all biased. They're all one way. That's, that's not truthful information. But I worked with brilliant stem cell doctors. I was doing their online advertising and marketing for them. They would actually use third parties that have to keep their reputation and would test their stem cells. Because they were presenting to 60 and 70 year olds that were not fools. And they understood if you're going to give me some obscene numbers from your own laboratories, I'm walking out of these doors right now calling what it is a scam. And unfortunately, I would say easily 75, if not more, percent of the, the studying out there nowadays is all biased. It's all one way, right? It's not truthful. And then factual is you're not pulling shit out of your ass. There's a guy on YouTube, over a million subscribers, that makes frequency meditations. And what did I see him post in one of his posts? YouTube is taking, YouTube is decreasing my video quality. I'm not able to upload in 7020p anymore. So now my sound quality is going to go down. Oh my god, this guy thinks that because of the video quality, 720p, you're going to lose sound quality. And this guy, he obviously bought over a million subscribers, but he's still growing now to this day. Loki something. And I'm not, these people, they're on, you know, crack, they're on meth, they're shroomed out all day. I'm not just talking about smoking, you know, a little here and there. Uh, these guys are way out there, and they're just pulling shit out of their ass. And these foolish, foolish young people especially, just listen to these frequencies. And I'm like, you don't even know what, what's, what you're doing to your body. If 528 hertz is just altered by a little bit, you can screw yourself up instead of causing miracles. So this is how you improve your value. You study truthful, unbiased, truthful, and factual information. And you, get, you have so much more to offer life and humanity. And like I said, when you give to life, and we already talked about what life is, life always returns tenfold what you gave it. 
And when you have, you put in the time, when you put in the time and you actually study, like I said, I'm going to turn my foot over right now. When you put in the time and you actually study truthful and factual information, you will have so much more value to provide life. When I wrote my description for the subliminal messages, I was not talking out of my ass. I was giving truthful, unbiased, and factual information. Why did I drop out of <laughs> college? <laughs> I'm about to explain why I laughed on, when I get into the other half of how you can increase your, your value or your true value. But I decided to keep studying three things. Quantum physics or energy, the science of life or the universe, and spe specialized or certain parts of psychology. Not just memorizing a bunch of pharmaceutical prescriptions for I could fill the pockets of the people that just wrote off my college debt. No. I'm talking about psychology that is naturally already occurring. This is why the stem cell doctors and the naturopathic industry is a God, it's going up to the, towards the trillions. The health and wellness industry is trillions now. And this is why I studied natural psychology, which is what subliminal messages and affirmations are, and the science of life and quantum physics. Because this is the truth. It's not biased. This is what being a human being, or I say a divine creator, really is. This is the secrets. This is what, why Steve Jobs went to India on a spiritual retreat where the motto was, All is one. All is one. And then Mark Zuckerberg went and boom, Facebook goes, popped him international all over the place. I wonder why. All is one. What did I just tell you guys? Guys, this is, I'm giving you guys information that people would pay a lifetime for. People are offering me to make videos on how to teach them to make subliminal messages, but that would be a 16, 45 hour course minimum. Guys, I gotta get going here, but I, so truthful and factual information is how you can improve your true value. And the second one is meaningful experiences. And when you go to college, what do you do? And this is going to piss off a lot of people and threaten their fake reality or their ego or their dogma mask, a.k.a. degree. But you spent, I talked to a guy that went to school for four years and got his degree in computer sciences. He told me all I did was study the history and a bunch of theory and a bunch of fancy vocabulary words for words that already have definitions or nicknames <laughs> for four years and I had to teach myself how to computer program. <laughs> and this, is what, this is what college is. The people that own all of the media and the pharmaceutical companies, this criminal family, they sell you some certificate where you go and memorize a bunch of useful, use, useless, excuse me, useless information and you get some useless degree that can't even do anything. And oh, maybe you'll go for eight years and, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm, I'm try if you went to college, I'm not laughing at the disrespect, I'm just laughing at the insanity and foolishness, I don't want to say stupidity, but foolishness of this. But you might go for eight years and just memorize some more theory for four more years. That's <laughs> and then when you finally, guys, get there after eight years of completely use useless, unless if you were studying law, and this is the one exception. If you are going to law school, great. But even then, you have to go for four years and gather a bunch of debt for theory and history and nicknames. But anyways, guys, eight years. This, you finally get to gain some true value. And this is what I'm about to teach you guys. How you don't have to wait eight years. When you go for eight years, what do you do? You write your thesis, right? And you, you actually look at the industry and you say, okay, how can I come up with my own theory now, but, but actually test it, right? Test it and actually make it factual and revolutionize and offer a new piece of growth to my industry that I'm in. So if you're a biologist then you would, you know, come up with a hypothesis that, you know, maybe about osmosis or uh, radiation or, you know, photosynthesis. I don't know. But 
and you test it so much and you put in so much time and you write your thesis or you, you offer a new piece of growth, right? True value. You're actually helping life grow. But you don't have to wait eight years to do this. Holy cow! Do it right now! Write your own thesis! Put in the time! This is what I did for the last seven years. And what I mean by that is I wrote goals. I, I talk about it too in my other video on writing real goals. I wrote goals that asked me to become a completely different person. I see people from just two years ago and they look at me like, do I know who you are? Who the hell are you? Why are you staring at me, you creeper? And it was because the last seven, I always set goals that asked me to become a completely new person. That's why I talk in third person. I say that boy used to buy fancy gold watches and $40,000 in cars to try to impress people because that boy is dead. And I, went, I set goals that asked me to become a completely new person. And by that I mean, I ha you, you, just like the eight-year thesis, I had to put in time and build my character and prove my character and my strengths, my talents, and my gifts, and my character. I had to put in, right, put in actual time and, and gain skills and strategies or techniques, right, extra skills on top of my character and strength development to obtain my goal. And then I, you, I got to a point in my life or my career that I'm at now where I, I, I'm testing subliminal messages. I'm writing a book. I'm testing things that nobody else in the industry has done, combining all of my knowledge and my information together, or my factual, truthful information together, and all of who I am, and I'm testing things, and I'm proving things. That's where I'm at now. And this is how you now, guess what? How, how easy is it to replace me? How easy it is, is it to replace you? But if you're, setting, if, you're, if you're studying truthful and factual information and you're gaining meaningful experience through real goals that ask you to become a new person each time, then you have true value that you can offer life that's not fake and you will be rewarded. And this is how I did it. And I'm not going to pay $5,000, $3,000 to come to some seminar where I'm going to teach you the higher faculties of life. I already taught you guys the higher faculties for free. I'm not going to teach you how to write real goals. I already taught you guys that for free. I'm not going to tell you to pretend like to be somebody else that you admire. No, I'm going to tell you to be you. I'm not going to teach you the rule of 72. <laughs> no, guys. This is true value. This is how you obtain true value, and if you just do this, you are the best investment you can make, guys. Study truthful and factual information and gain meaningful experiences, and you will have so much more to give to life, and life rewards life with more life. That's it, guys. It's that. Anyways, guys, watch this video again if you have to. Like I said... Money and greed that this one, this one criminal family operates on is ridiculous. And it's amazing how they understand everything I just taught you. They understand how the subconscious mind works. They understand how physics works. Oh, God, they do. You People would shit their pants if they knew how many... Um, how much power they have over our vibrations right now or many of the masses and the subconscious minds that starts with our children watching the media that they produce. But guys, this is all truthful. Like I said, guys, truthful and factual information. And I'm going to repeat it again because it needs to sink in, guys, here. And meaningful experiences. And you will obtain true value on the inside. Guys, yeah, this is why I don't make these videos wearing some 50000 or $5,000 button-up shirt. <laughs> I don't... Uh, anyways, guys, like I said, and this is how you also gain fulfillment, right? Because when you help life improve and grow, you gain fulfillment. And I'm going to start rambling, guys. I got to go... Fuck. Yeah, I got to get going. I got to get going on my... Um,
my workout. I wish you all the very best. I love every single one of you guys, and I appreciate all the support that you've been giving the YouTube channel. And we are starting to we are starting to grow, just like I visualized. And I would say in another by the end of this year, guys, I guarantee you we are going to be taken off. And this is why I invested into Bitcoin when it was crashing with my camera guy Paul, who's been investing in crypto for a while now. And every single one of the the moves that's been happening in the last couple of weeks, we predicted. We predicted spot on. I use the science of life. The, the graph is just like life. I use the science of life, and I've been spot on every single call. Paul uses more of a technical um, analysis and more of an intellectual analysis. But we've been spot on, guys. It's, it's amazing, guys how powerful this stuff is. I wish you all the very best in your journeys and love every single one of you guys.